Okay, so let's read some uh, comments. This trend started with the Shoba video, you know, so I really enjoyed interacting with all my uh, subscribers. So the Saudi boom. <laughs> like, Damak sales agents happy to tell mistruths in order to get sales. Damak head office really need to get grip on the agents. They're giving the company a bad reputation. I cannot further agree with you. You'd be surprised once. So I went, there was this high-end office of Damak in, in Business Bay. So I went to meet to understand uh, the product, right? I think I sat in that meeting for like 10 minutes. I walked away from the meeting because the person had no clue what they were talking about. I was like, what? what? Like, like, it's funny. If, if I tell you my experiences with sales managers, it's hilarious. But this Andrea that you met, I mean, probably you must have figured out on, on the video itself, on the uh, podcast I had with Damak. She was really smart because the client that she, I wouldn't say stole from your closed, uh, the client that she dealt with, Christoph is one of the most smartest investors I've ever met. He is really smart. If I'm telling you, this guy from Belgium, he was really smart. So he doesn't deal with everyone. He deals with very, very specific people. So yes, it's a hunt. It's with, I think at any developer, you'll have to find those right real estate agents. You need to find the right real estate agent as well, right? It's not easy to find. So this is something pan, brother, pan. Damak will launch more and more projects. The products will never finish. <laughs> so you got to give credit to Damak, I must say. See, if you drive across downtown, you see everywhere Imar and Damak. I mean, I've when I went to um, like even D1 or D2 or all their products have finished. So they will complete. They're a big developer. They're, I think they're on rank number two in the Middle East. It's very, very strong. Biggest private developer in Dubai. And see, one credit you must give Damak and Shoba. If Dubai has got so much of hype across the world, I think you give more credit to like Damak and um, Shoba more than Imar and Miras because Imar and Miras don't market their products. Damak and Shoba always have these road shows all the time, all across the world. It's really brought a lot of attention to Dubai. A lot of investment has come pouring into Dubai because of these guys. Damak delayed their project for three years and they don't pay buyer's compensation or interest on 90% payment. But if buyer delays you get stern warnings and charged interest I see this is a very good point it's a very good point um that again if you have a very strong consultant these are points where you negotiate with you know you can negotiate developers i've always fought with developers to to remove charges so i've always told my investors hey you know what leave it with me let me fight with them let me try and get the and this is the case with any developer right there were delays in projects at a certain period in dubai but now dubai is fully loaded I don't think they'll have there's any cash flow situation. So you won't face a delay problem. But when it comes to charges, you can always negotiate with them. You just need to find the right person who can negotiate with them. Damak has very bad agents and have very bad customer care. They have very bad reputation when it's about returning money. They sell very high. Sir, this is Dubai is a bullish market. I don't think it's just about Damak. I think there are a lot of products. I don't want to tell names who sell really high prices. Every developer has good products and bad products it's it's our job to study what's the floor plan what's the location what's the price per square foot if it makes sense we proceed if it does not make sense what's the name and website for this business center check it out um it's in um, business bay the location is bay square i love bay square i love bay square as a location it's 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 a phenomenal location to work uh the particular place is called prodigy i don't know if they have a website though but it's just uh something i help my investors with you know set up their companies trade licenses so that's something i've started as well you know business setup it's a service that i do for free again for my investors it's just a requirement you know for the entire tax situation how much would to set up just to buy properties under company name so we can avoid overseas income tax in the UK? Also, is it possible to company to buy properties in UAE as opposed to individual name? In UK, it is common that investment properties are bought under company name to avoid tax. To set up a company, uh, I think uh, in total, in total, including the office, it's about 40,000 rooms. I think uh, sixteen to 17,000 is just your trade license, then visas. I'm talking about, I'll send you the entire breakdown, but this is including office rent, visas, trade license cost, establishment card. Uh, you can, it'll, talk, it'll cost you around 40,000 rooms. Can you buy uh, with your company name? Yes, you can buy with your company name. So 
this is what people do you know they it's like an expense you know and they'll have a parent holding company in dubai you have a sub company let's say in the uk you transfer money so you can hold money in dubai and in in dubai real estate is a non taxable real estate investment so you make money Your thoughts about Magi and other Mag communities? Appreciation Magi is looking good based on DXP Interact numbers. Are any of the affordable communities in Maidan with townhouses under three million dirhams? Mag came up with these really expensive products in Maidan, right? It was like super expensive, beautiful though. It was phenomenal. Those townhouses looked really beautiful. I I believe there are. I'll have to do some more research. Um, Mag. is one of those developers have always been there they've always delivered i really liked mag's product in jlt they came up with this product i can't remember the name not the older one the new one that they came up in i think the gym they had the biggest gym in the whole of uh, the whole of dubai they had an entire beautiful gym i just can't remember the name i'm so sorry but then uh, so mag had these two mag was very famous initially for these two buildings one was in dubai marina and this very similar building they had in jlt the weird part was didn't have balconies you know but beautiful floor plans just didn't have balconies really weird i think they recovered that in this product in jlt that is one of my favorite products in by mag uh rest south of dubai i think um i'm not going to talk any more about this i think we have a zoom call to explain more about mag <laughs> Good video Zohaib thank you thank you to Bivax good video Zohaib about Mina Rashid will get it price appreciation due to infrastructure Dubai Island proximity also there are demand sea view location Imar master community and also it's at first stage of development once in the first building at handle price is going to explode yes sir right location in the community also really matters whenever you invest in Dubai try your best to get a good view view really sells in Dubai Dubai's bling bling it's about cars nice houses nice food nice lifestyle yachts private jets that's dubai you know that's the bling i mean what am i supposed to say it's the ultra rich that dubai's trying to attract i think that's a good business model so yes it will definitely explode sir what are your thoughts about azizi venice in dubai south hit or a miss I will not comment. That should be explained on a zoom call. No controversies to be struck. No controversies. No controversial conversations. Are there any planned developments between Marina and Jabal Ali Palm? Uh Bhavna, I think I think we speak Bhavna, don't we speak? Okay. So uh Bhavna there are some especially you know in in f- f- there's this temple and church being built in front of that there are, for example there was this product called Hammock Park in my um in my report tier 2 report I've mentioned Hammock Park. in case i've not sent you that report just let me know i'll send you across the remote one of, one of the products was actually this and i like the fact that it was between uh, marina and jabal ali palm what happened to the 2.8 to 2.94 bedroom deal in valley 2 it was a good deal it was a good deal are you talking about the one in nima that i traded i sold it in 3 hours that was awesome i don't know i, I think you're talking about that mr rahim shake absolutely value for money and 100% things will appreciate over a period of time with this price either one can settle with one to two bedroom apartments in a standalone building or enjoy a four bedroom townhouse with great amenities in this community thank you rahim shake i agree too it's 10:30 p.m. over here i'm exhausted i think my brain's numb at this stage so <laughs> i just completed i just spoke about uh, shoba firdaus island this is my second video but it's a wrap Thank you for watching guys. Thank you so much for all the comments. Thank you for much so all the support, all the love. I think it's it's you guys who made me number one trending in Dubai real estate. I try my best to give you as much information, numbers, knowledge as possible. You know fun fact, you know, I think I've started up so many real estate companies. It's you'll be you'll be shocked. I don't even want to mention so one of the biggest real estate companies um in Dubai and we're talking about billionaires celebrities from across the world you know um they used to come very soon you're going to hear the name we're talking about jeff bezos and soccer players and neymar junior and all of that so there are so many people uh so many companies i i, I can't keep talking names you know uh, who have helped set up so it's it's just what i do you know this is what i do i i enjoy uh gaining knowledge and sharing knowledge education uh, these are my so even when i do events uh out of dubai like i mentioned in in us singapore norway even when i do events it's not going to be like hey i brought damak or hey i brought shoba it's going to be about why dubai how do you set up a business in dubai how do you save on taxes in dubai i look at dubai real estate it's very different from uh, other typical markets like markets in the west 
why real estate can be looked upon like a stock as well it's like bitcoin you know i mean uh, so i mean yes if you buying bitcoin at $60,000 uh, per coin can be a bit tricky but if you buy bitcoin at the right price you start to make really good profit so that's the whole principle behind uh, or buying a good stock you know that's the whole principle behind dubai real estate so just educating people that's the whole idea of this channel so thank you for watching mamad sahib